Everyone is afraid of something. A fear that they've either never dared to face or something that happened to them in the past that instilled the fear inside of them. To me, strangely enough, I'm terrified of commitment and opening up to any girl that I date. I was heartbroken a few years ago after opening up to someone for the first time in my life and it left me insecure and closed off for years. Even just admitting this right now on camera is like, so, it's so strange to me. It's way too real. But if this video can inspire some of you who might have gone through a heartbreak or are closed off for whatever reason and it's affecting your personal lives, then it's totally worth it. So let's get back to this video. A few months ago, for the first time in four years, I met someone who made me feel totally different. She laughed at my stupid jokes and gave me space to express myself like nobody had before. So a few days after we landed in Europe, Matt and Amar told me this. You should ask her if she wants to come out to Paris to go on a second date with you. And I don't think I felt a moment of discomfort that was more intense than this since we started Yes Theory. But if there's one thing that I've learned on this journey with Yes Theory, it's that you can't run away from your fears forever. So I went for it. She says yes to this. She's pretty, pretty freaking cool. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, just getting ready for work. I have a, a suggestion or a, a proposal for something. Okay. How would you feel if I flew you out to Paris for a second date? In like two weeks. <laughs> for real? For real. Um, well, I would have to check with work, but... Yeah, I would totally be down. Really? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so I gotta get planning. I'm a little nervous. I mean, I'm very nervous. All right, this man is freaking out. She's literally meeting my family and all of you guys. Being in my hometown, like I've only met her a few times and she's coming in this environment that's very familiar to me and completely different for her. I'm just like anxious that she's gonna arrive and it's gonna be weird or you guys aren't gonna like her or my parents, it's just, it's just weird. You'll be fine, my man. I promise. You're gonna make the best out of it. Damn. How'd you feel? I'm all right. Okay. Bye. Thomas hasn't really said anything all morning. I think he's getting in his own head. I've known him for two and a half years and what we're doing right now is literally his biggest fear. I'm anxious now, God damn it. <laughs> you, Thomas. <laughs> Say something, Thomas. Say something. <laughs> What's going through this brain of yours right now? <laughs> Nothing, I'm fine. I'm uh, just want the moment to be here. Is this too big? The music in the background is perfect. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Where did you guys uh, want to go today? <laughs> this is Captain Amar Hindil. The uh, weather outside is pretty good. What do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Oh my God, are we going somewhere for real? You just say and I'll you take you. Home? Let's at least drive through Paris. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. to Paris we go. First train ride in Paris. I oh, peed on the chair this time. So as you say, the map of Paris. Some reason I have an Australian accent. So we're gonna stop at Opera. What do you want to see while we're here? Do you have to try the snails? I'll order a, a, a plate of snails and you'll try one of them. Have you ever eaten snails? Yeah, yeah, it's really good. It comes in like pesto. Oh my god. Yes. Oh, We're doing it. I'll try a little. Yeah, yeah, try a little. But oh my god, I can do a real thing. <laughs> Merci. Ew. Are we 
mean, it's probably good. Just like the thought, like thinking that it's a snail, you know? <laughs> I feel my heart right now. It's like pounding out of my chest. I'm just postponing it. <laughs> we should try a full one together. Le oh, uh, Le Finit Fermi. Woo! <laughs> Between you and me, what's the most annoying thing about Thomas? What's the this best thing? When he's angry. When he's angry, what's the best thing about Thomas? He's not angry. <laughs> so, for day two, and as the next step in our Parisian tour, we're going to the Louvre. All of this. Very nice. Very nice, man. <laughs> He's so disappointed. Look. He's like, what the? F Come on, man. Why is my penis all twisted? Mona Lisa. We found it. It's so pretty. Dude. Way bigger than I thought. Mm -hmm. All right, we can go home now. <laughs> Just happened. I just found out his name isn't even Thomas. It's Carl Anar Thomas. I'm leaving. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Do you want to go out with a guy named Carl? Right? Let's go. I guess uh, I'll just walk home. Please, don't call me Carl. Are you ready for where we're going next? Uh, I don't know, because I don't know where we're going. So there's one thing we haven't done properly yet, but proper French dessert. And we happen to have a family friend who is the number one pastry chef in the world. We got some for Amar too. <laughs> oh my god. I said for three people. <laughs> oh my god, are you freaking serious? Wait, we have to like go home now. This is so much. I'll take this <laughs> This is the best thing so far. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Can Thomas, Lana and I come to your apartment and eat some of the best chocolates in the world? All right, peace. <laughs> Let's go sit. But she has no idea what's in this hat. You should put your hand in and then take it out. Oh, is it alive? No, no, no. Can you swear it's not alive? Yeah, I swear it's not alive. Oh. This is my favorite chocolate in the entire world. I mean, this is better than the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're celebrating New Year's the very oh, yeah. French way. We're talking to her, not the camera. Okay. Yeah, like, be romantic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We've roasted well, too much. So we're celebrating... Can you give me a sauce here now? Check that I'm talking. We're hosting a show here, sorry. Oh, uh -huh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm doing it. <laughs> this year, we're going to do New Year's the French authentic way, which is by sharing seafood platters with your best friends. It's beautiful. Thanks pretty much. <laughs> Actually, another nice thing. I'll, I'll double it 40, please. <laughs> this is amazing. Cool, I'll give it to you later. <laughs> One minute, one minute, ten, nine, 